Hey guys, it's Brendan Maynard with the Whitetails of New York. Today I want to talk about timber harvest with you guys and the importance to have that on your property and how it can benefit you. Uh, the first thing I like to look at is, is, first of all, how can the timber harvest change your property and alter the habitat uh, to benefit your deer herd? So the main goal of a timber harvest is ultimately to open up the canopy and to allow more sunlight to hit the forest floor, which is eventually going to lead to more biomass and forage for your deer. So the next thing I like to look at is how much does a deer actually consume? And if you look at your average 150 pound deer, they're going to consume about 5% of their body weight, which is about seven and a half pounds of forage per day. You add that up, you multiply that, multiply that by 365 days in a year, and you're going to be looking at well over 2,000 pounds of forage and biomass that deer needs in order to live. Let's now transfer that into your habitat and let's look at your property and see what it provides for your deer herd. Your average closed canopy forest is only going to provide about 50 to 100 pounds of forage per acre. That is not a lot. If you actually figure out how much acres you need to feed one deer, it's about 30 acres just to feed one deer. Now you take that same 30 acres and you open up the canopy, which can produce over 1,000 pounds of forage per acre, you now can hold a dozen deer on that 30 acres. So if you bring a logger in on your property without developing a plan first, what's going to happen? What's the worst case scenario? So obviously when a logger or any forester goes into your property, what they're looking at is log value. They're going to take out the mature timber, the one that's going to increase their, their overall paycheck and also yours. However, how can that affect your property negatively? Let's just say, worst case scenario, that all your mature timber is around the perimeter parts of your property or in the first 50 or so yards off, the, off your perimeter, off your border is where all that mature timber is. And the interior of your property is, let's say, some medium growth trees, something that's not providing forage for the deer, but something that also isn't going to provide log value for that logger to take out of there. So they come in and they clear out that perimeter, those 50 or 60 yards off of your border, and now that is gonna be open canopy forest. That is gonna be your best bedding cover. Why is that a bad thing? Because if you're with one of my clients or if you've ever watched any of my videos or any of my content, the number one thing I do on every property is having a perimeter access trail. So therefore you can access your tree stands with always blowing your wind out away from the, the core area. So if you go in and you have that logger clear out what he sees as the best timber and the best way to go about doing a timber harvest on your property, you've now just created all that bedding area right where you wanna access. And it's gonna be extremely hard to hunt it at that point. So before having a logger in on your property, you need to make a plan. You need to develop a plan on where you can actually access your property and where you want that, those deer to be bedding. Obviously, the more aggressive you are on your cutting in certain areas, that is gonna allow more undergrowth to come in that area, which is eventually gonna to lead to more cover and most likely where the deer are gonna be bedded. So let's just take your average 40 acre farm. Let's imagine it's a monoculture of just mature, mature timber, has not had a, a timber harvest on it in maybe ever. It's been multiple, multiple years. Um, so let's take that and how would I go about designing a timber harvest for that specific property? Well, the first thing I would do is I'd have the logger not touch any of the trees uh, except the extremely, extremely mature high value trees in that 50 yards or so around the perimeter. I would have him focus his cuttings towards the interior of the property. Just like we had talked, that's the reasoning for that is because that creates the cover and the most bedding area opportunities for your deer herd, where we want the deer to be bedded for the majority of the daylight hours throughout the hunting season. Now, after that logger goes out of there and he's done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and pick precision bedding areas. And what that is and what you're heard me explain before is that is a spot on the property where we clear 60 to 65 percent of the canopy or more in a half acre or less size. That is the most precise, the most thick area on your property in about two to three to four years from now. So you have these extremely precise areas that are very thick that you know the deer are going to be bedded in. Then outside of that you have browse levels that are about medium and then the perimeter of your property has no browse for the deer. This now allows us to hunt your property effectively so we can blow our winds in those areas and where we can access. So what should you have taken out of this? Always make a plan before you have a logger come in on your property. It's very important that they do the cutting in the correct manner so it's going to increase the overall hunting potential. If you go about and, and you have him come in without doing having a plan in the first place, most likely that property is not going to be set up correctly and most likely it's going to be hard to hunt. Make sure you pick the areas where you want the deer to be bedded and have an aggressive cutting done in those locations. And then the areas where you don't want deer to be, do not do a cutting in those locations. 
have a plan before you do a timber harvest. That is the most important thing. Thanks for tuning into this week's episode. Be sure to tune in every week for more tips and tactics. And always remember, your success is our success.